In the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 7, I think, is it verse 10 or so? From verse 6, when Satan appeared, before, when Satan presented himself before God, God was telling Satan, so what are you doing here? He said, I've been all over the place. People have been falling left, right, and center. And God said, did you not see Job, my servant? You see him that is an astute man. You see him that is a righteous man, is a godly man. He fears me. He, he, he eschews, uh, what is it called? Um, ungodliness or unrighteousness. He's a blameless man. He's an upright man. And Satan asked God. He said, does Job fear God for nothing? Look at what you did now. You surrounded him protected him. You, 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 you've protected his investments. Why will he not fear? Why will he not be worshipping you? Remove those things and you will see him curse you. God said, uh, you are making me do something that I don't want to do. Okay. I'll tell you that Job, Job is serving me not because I'm protecting him. Job loves me and he will serve me. And God gave him, he said, go ahead. But don't touch his life. Oh. He went. And in one day, Job lost all his children, lost all his businesses, lost all his assets. Every single thing in one day. His servants, each time Satan would just save only one person to come and tell Job the bad news. But Job maintains his integrity. He did not cross God. Then, in chapter 2, Satan again appeared because he failed. I said to God, yes, sir, and, and then God said to him, you see now, Job, you tested him, he didn't fail. He didn't fall, rather. So, what's, your, what's the big deal? Satan said, do I get it? You were touching assets. Touch his body. When a man's body is touched, that's when you will know that he will cause you. God said, okay. Let's put it to the test. But you can't kill him. And Satan went and brought the worst kind of sores, kind of illness on Job. No doctor could solve that problem. To the point that Job was using the broken clay pot to be scratching himself and the thing was not abated. Then Job's wife that was not killed in all of this thing came and told Job, curse God and die. Who told Job's wife to, that cursing God is the, is the solution? He said that. He used Job's wife to want to get Job to curse God. But Job said to the woman, you are behaving like this worldly woman. You are a foolish woman. You are like one of them. Shall we not receive evil from God after we have received good from him? The Bible talks about the patience of Job. And Job kept, was tried severely, sorely. Many of us who feel that we have been tempted or we have been tested, we have not seen test, temptation yet. We have not seen testing yet. Job was sorely, sorely tempted. That he overcame. Is an example that we can follow. The Lord Jesus is another example who was sorely tempted and he overcame. Because there was something at stake. What was that thing at stake? The glory of God. Whatever it is that God wanted to give, was, that thing was at stake. You discover that after Job successfully overcame everything, even though he erred on some things, but that was not part of the deal between God and Satan. That was a different matter. After Job prayed for his friends and repented, God restored back to Job double of everything that he had lost. I want you to know one thing. Though. God is able to restore everything that you have lost. Every single thing. And restore more than one of it. Everything that has been lost. Because it is a part of a test, a part of a trial. 
a part of a proving 